Did you know that there's a secret setting in your phone that will automatically hide pretty much every single ad you'll ever come across? Or that without changing some specific settings on your phone, you actually might be missing important notifications? Well, welcome to 10 underrated Android features you can use to enhance your entire smartphone experience. And just to be clear, there are no third-party apps being used throughout this video. Every single feature is something built right into Android. You just need to know where to look. So first up is a setting called default USB configuration. And you can find this by heading into your phone's developer options and then by navigating down to the networking section. Oh, and if the developer options doesn't show by default on your phone, you may first need to go to your phone's about menu, then find your phone's build number and tap it seven times. But then back to the networking section in our developer options menu, you wanna find this setting called USB configuration. And when you do, do you notice that these options sound somewhat familiar? Well, that's because these are the options that show up whenever you plug your phone into your PC. And by default, the no data transfer option is selected, meaning whenever you plug your phone in to transfer files to your computer, you'll have to manually change the USB configuration over to file transfer every single time. And so if you instead change the default configuration to file transfer, now it will be selected automatically for you. Happy days. Now, while we're in our developer options menu, if we scroll down to the drawing section, you'll see three particular settings that can impact the animations on your phone and therefore make it feel like it's even faster than it actually is. So we've got window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animated duration scale. And each of these control the various animations that you'll see across your phone's UI. By default, these are set to 1x. However, if you change each of these to 0.5x, you'll all of a sudden feel like your phone is two times faster than before. Some people like to set these to 0x, which actually removes all animations from your phone, but I find that this makes things feel a little too janky. And so instead, I like setting each of them to 0.5x, which I think is the perfect combination of speed and fluidity. All right, with phones getting bigger and bigger these days, there's no question that they've become less one-handed friendly as a result. But did you know that there's a very good chance that your phone actually has a hidden one-handed mode? Now, some phone manufacturers like Samsung and Xiaomi have had their own one-hand modes for quite some time, but ever since the introduction of Android 12, pretty much every new phone should now have the feature. The only issue is that in most cases, it's actually disabled by default. So to enable it, just go into your phone system settings and search for the word one, and then you should see an option show up called one-handed mode. Just tap on that and then toggle it on. You can now perform a simple gesture, such as swiping down on the bottom of your screen, and this will then pull your entire phone interface down, making it super easy to reach those pesky UI elements that are usually at the top of your screen. Okay, this next one is super important. If you go to your phone settings and search for emergency, you'll see this option called emergency SOS and all relatively modern phones should have this feature. So within this menu, you can activate the SOS functionality, which will basically launch a series of emergency actions whenever you rapidly press your phone's power button five times. The actions may change depending on the phone, but generally speaking, they'll call emergency services, share information with any emergency contacts you've set up, and in some cases, they might even record a video for evidence purposes. It's one of those features you hope you'll never have to use, but better to have it on just in case. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video and you like smartphone related content like this, then you might want to check out the new shorts channel I launched not too long ago, which I'll leave links below. All right, these days, most phones with an OLED display have some form of always on display functionality. And whilst I love using this feature to quickly look at the time without having to pick up or even touch my phone, it can kind of get annoying having it on all night. And so to resolve this issue, you should instead set up a schedule for your always on display. Within your phone's always on display settings, simply change the setting to scheduled. I personally like to set mine to turn on at 7 a.m. in the morning, which is usually after I'm awake, and then switch off at 10 p.m. at night, usually before I go to bed. And that way, I never see it overnight, but I always see it when I'm awake. Now, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to keep your phone on silent, but you wanna make sure you're not missing any important calls, then there's actually a setting you can find within most stock dialer apps called Flash On Call. Just open up your phone app, tap on this little more menu, then tap on settings. 
Then you wanna tap on calling accounts and the setting might be found in different spots on this page depending on the phone you're using, perhaps under incoming call settings or under advanced settings. But wherever it is, you should be able to find a toggle that will flash your phone's torch whenever there's an incoming call. Like I said, a lot of phones have this feature built in, but I do know for a fact that Pixel phones don't currently have the feature. So if you're using a Pixel phone, then your only option is to use a third party application that will emulate the feature instead, which I will link down below. Okay, if you've ever experienced the absolute nightmare that is apps sending you delayed notifications or sometimes not sending notifications at all, then that is most likely due to your phone's battery optimization feature. This is a feature that helps to improve your phone's battery life by limiting apps from running in the background, which is all well and good until it starts restricting an app you rely on notifications for. So to fix this, you wanna find the app in question in your phone's app drawer and long press it. You should then see a little information icon show up, which you then wanna tap. Within this page, you'll need to find and open any setting related to battery. There might be more than one battery option on some phones, so just open all of them until you find the one related to battery optimization or battery saving, depending on the phone. From there, you will wanna change the relevant setting on your phone so that instead of allowing battery optimization for that particular app, it'll instead place no restrictions on it. Again, this setting may have a different name depending on the phone you're using. But with that setting changed, you should now receive all notifications from your selected app without really any delays. I know for a fact that this helps with apps like Memoregi and other third-party reminder applications on OnePlus and Xiaomi phones, so definitely look into this setting if you're having issues with missed notifications. Oh, and speaking of missed notifications, if you're someone who has a bad habit of accidentally dismissing notifications you didn't mean to, then your phone actually has a hidden feature that can help. On most phones, it's called notification history, or if it's not called that, you'll be able to find it under the notifications menu within your phone system settings. But once you turn it on, it'll then start collecting a complete log of every notification you receive, which means you can go back and quickly check it if need be. Pretty handy stuff. All right, second to last is related to your phone's advertising ID. And for those who don't know, your phone actually has a unique advertising ID that allows advertising companies to track your app activity and then serve you ads related to that activity. And if you're feeling like the ads you're seeing are a little too targeted, then you can actually reset the ID or even delete it altogether. To do so, just open your phone settings, navigate down to the Google section, and then tap on ads. You'll then see two main options. The first is to reset your phone's advertising ID, which will wipe the slate clean and start the process over, or you can delete the ID altogether, which will just mean you'll never receive personalized ads. But if you just wanna out and out remove all of the intrusive ads that show up on every website you browse to on your phone, then there is actually a hidden setting you can change that will largely solve the issue. To find it, head into your phone settings, then into the connection and sharing menu and navigate down to the private DNS section. You then wanna input the custom private DNS provider hostname, dns.adguard.com. And as soon as you hit save, pretty much every single ad on your phone will be blocked. Keep in mind, it's not a miracle maker, so it won't block ads on YouTube or those sponsored stories or posts you see on Instagram or Twitter, but it will block those pesky banner style ads you see on most websites these days. It's free, it's safe, and more importantly, it's super useful. And so there you have it, 10 hidden Android features that will seriously maximize the way that you use your phone. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. And as mentioned, don't forget to check out my new shorts channel, which I have linked down below. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.